Hey Leo, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of June 10th through the 16th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So maybe this week you're going to find some sort of um, silver lining or something is actually going to be a lot easier than you think it will be because I kind of feel like right now you may be anticipating some sort of date event situation um, maybe some project at work or I don't know it's like there's something that you're expecting is going to happen and I feel like right now you could be uh, you know assuming or thinking that it's going to go a certain way I feel like this week what you're going to find is that it goes a lot better than you think so we have the Judgment, the Chariot, which is Cancer, the Star, which is Aquarius, and the Four of Swords. So I love seeing that star come through because I really do think that it confirms that there is so much hope to have here for this situation. Also, there is something that's going to be illuminated um, about maybe, you know, a person or a project or whatever it is that's on your mind. Something is going to be illuminated. Um, and it's going to help you see it in a different light. Also with the chariot, I kind of feel like your motivation to keep going forward in something specific is also going to increase because you see that it's going to go better than you think and because something is being illuminated. So everything is connected here, but it's for the purpose of you kind of, you know, seeing this path forward and saying, you know what, I feel good about it. So I'm going to keep going. Again, your judgment is going to change. So you're going to go from maybe having some doubts about something to feeling more comfortable with it, feeling more confident and thinking, you know what, maybe this isn't so bad. Maybe it's not um, how I thought it was going to be. And I feel like with that four of swords, it's that general, you know, idea of, okay, I can rest now. I can just relax because things are going to be better than I thought. So let's go ahead and clarify the star. Six of pentacles. I kind of feel like this could have to do with a situation where maybe you were giving a lot and not receiving enough. Maybe there was just some sort of an imbalance. And I feel like this is the universe saying there's hope for this situation. There's hope for the balance to be restored. Um, maybe you are owed something. I feel like you're going to receive what is owed to you. That Six of Pentacles is all about establishing balance and sometimes creating it. So we have the death card which is scorpio the queen of pentacles and the king of cups so it's interesting to see the queen of pentacles and the king of cups because they do pair quite nicely um they're not the same element but they kind of complement each other and i feel like with the death card maybe you're connecting to a scorpio maybe you have scorpio placements but it kind of feels like there was an ending that happened recently that could have left you feeling imbalanced and i feel like now the universe is saying think about it this way leo it's actually better this way or it's actually going to bring the balance it's it's almost like something contradictory could be happening um right behind the six of pentacles is the sun which is you leo and then it is the two of pentacles so i feel like you're going to have a decision to make that is going to help you uh, kind of feel more in control of what's going on again i feel like right now it's not going to make a whole lot of sense so this week it's kind of like the the situation itself is going to um help to make sense of what I'm picking up on, which probably doesn't sound very reassuring, but just kind of, um, just bear with me. Let's clarify the chariot. Queen of Cups. So I kind of feel like this definitely could have to do with a person, a relationship, some sort of commitment where it's like right now you kind of don't really see where this is going. Maybe you're even doubting um, the direction of this path because something just isn't aligned, something isn't matching up, something isn't adding up. I kind of feel like for the most part you want to see this situation in a positive light, but there could be or could have been something that happened recently that kind of just maybe put you in a different mindset. So to further clarify the chariot, we have the eight of wands, two of wands, and the moon, which is cancer. Um, and the chariot is also cancer. So maybe some of you are dealing with a cancer. Maybe you have cancer placements, but right behind the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck is the ace of cups. And then it is the strength card, which is you. So your energy coming is coming through. Um, water energy is coming through. Love energy is coming through. So Leo, I feel like this week is going to be huge when it comes to the future of a connection in your life and maybe for some of you this doesn't necessarily have to be love related maybe it's the connection between you and your career path 
right? Maybe it's the connection between you and a friend or a family member or a coworker. It's like something about it is going to change for you to feel more comfortable moving forward with the connection rather than stopping it altogether. And I feel like with the moon card right now, the unknown about the future could be the scariest part for both or all parties involved. So it's not that you're anticipating worst case scenario about the unknown. So is that other person, which may be causing a little bit of a issue in terms of communication and how things are being said or perceived or understood and i kind of feel like with the two of wands the universe is saying take it day by day because that is the only way you will find out right we can't expect to know what's going to happen until we experience things so i feel like for you, you you just kind of have to accept that it is a journey and that it is about the journey um, and not necessarily the destination um, let's clarify the judgment Two of Swords. Yeah, I feel like right now your your judgment is very much affected by what you're seeing from the other person or the situation involved, which is fair, valid, completely. But I do feel like the universe wants to remind you that you have a choice. So we have the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Wands. I feel like you are the King of Wands here, Leo, regardless of how you identify. I feel like you have the ultimate position to make a choice um, that is, you know, really meant to just benefit you in the long run. I kind of feel like with the Queen of Swords, you have to take some things into consideration while you're making this decision. But for the most part, I feel like the universe wants you to really make a choice that is true to you, right? Just that is really aligned with what your expectations are for the future. And I feel like after this confusion will come a clear new beginning. So I feel like that world card is confirming that things are going to be better for sure because everything leading up to this decision is going to open up and clear things for you so that you can, you know, do what is re what resonates most with you instead of doing what you feel you have to do to maybe please someone else. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.